Hey, it's Scott. I want to go ahead and just quickly touch on a couple things when it comes to chest tubes. Because most importantly, when you put a chest tube in a kid, remember it's exactly as a rule the same chest tube that you put in an adult, just a smaller size. And as a rule, it's exactly the same technique as you use for an adult, just a smaller kid. However, with that in mind, a couple things to touch on. The first of which is some of y'all have been at this long enough to remember how we used to put chest tubes in. And that's back in the day, remember we had chest tubes with something called trocars. And trocars were otherwise best described as spears. Because this is a little kid chest tube, but remember on the big people's side, it was the size of somebody's middle or little finger. And this is when the doc would look at your patient who just got shot in the chest and say, quote, you're gonna feel a little pressure while I do this. What was far more appropriate is called, I'm about to put a javelin into your chest. Because remember, in one hand, they would take the spear, they would go ahead, line it up to where it had to go, and they would push until they felt the pop. And the pop, remember, just like needling a chest, was when it went through the skin, through the muscle, and then into the pleura. However, happily, times are changing. And for several years, number one, they do not recommend trocars anymore. We typically use a finger and your scalpel and do what we need to do, plus minus a set of hemostats. However, the other kind of a neat thing comes into play involves pigtails. And pigtails started off with little babies and then it was kids and now more and more places in the ER and upstairs are using pigtail chest tubes as well. And these, if you played with them, are really slick. The idea being, especially for air, air is going to come out. Whether you have a big tube or a little tube, it's going to come out. But this to place is just like popping in a central line. Remember when your docs pop in a central line, they stick in the needle, they're sucking back in the syringe. Because when they get blood, they know they've hit what they're trying to hit. Once they're in the right spot, remember then they just advance the guide wire and over the top they thread the IV catheter. Exactly the same idea applies when it comes to pigtails. Whether it's a baby, a kid, or an adult, you stick, you get air back, meaning you've hit what you're trying to hit. Then instead of making big incisions and using spears and or javelins, you just simply go ahead, thread in the guide wire, once the guide wire's in, you can thread the pigtail catheter over. And as you can imagine, if you have a choice of having this relatively large, stiff piece of plastic in your chest, or having this very flexible piece of silicone-like material sitting in your chest, which of the two you would prefer is not that hard to pick. So whether it's for babies or for big people, it used to be just for medical, now places are placing it for trauma as well. Pigtails of various sizes is something you're probably gonna see far more of in the future.